coming down here in Denver. It's coming down. like summertime for the past week and then boom the weather instantly changes in an instant Russia, it is uh, by law for insurance reasons, you have to have a dash cam in your car. They should have that law here. You should have to have not only a front dash cam, but a rear. My dash cam saved my ass. I had this chick rip the whole front of my car off. And of course, she tried to play the old, I didn't do it bullshit, and I had her on my dash cam. So she had absolutely no choice in the matter but to give in. If I hadn't had her on the dash cam, I would have been screwed. Something to think about. It, it will save you a huge headache if somebody does plow into your car. Because they will deny it and deny it and deny it. I don't care how honest they supposedly are. They will lie. Because most people are pieces of shit. This chick's husband was a lawyer. I'm like, we're talking about $1,500 worth of damage to my car and you're, you're disputing it? You piece of shit. I, I finally, I, I, I sent her a screenshot. I go... Well, here's a screenshot of you standing here crying after you hit me, so, uh, from my dash cam, so now what do you got to say, chicken head? Oh, I just got off the plane. Oh, right. Should have heard this chick's bullshit. And uh, I have made this video twice now, uh, Bobby R. Park, but uh, the video cameras that I was using do not record in the correct format in order for me to put them into my laptop and upload them without paying a whole bunch of money so this will be the Bobby R video Bobby R right Bubba okay. All right, hold on buddy let me put my gloves on it's cold out here you got your fur coat on I know so Bobby R, here we go. As soon as I can get my gloves on. Come on. Alright, there's one. There's two. Uh. Uh. Hope you guys understand where I'm coming from in my last video. Alright, and here we go. 
Bobby R. Come on, Bob. Let's go this way, buddy. Hey, come on. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. You coming, bud? Hey, come on. There's plenty to snip over here. <laughs> Bubba, go say hi. Go say hello. Go say hi. <laughs> Tyrone, go say hi. What are you gonna do? He's like, what's going on here? <laughs> I don't have to do <laughs> Yeah, he wants to go pee on stuff. What is he? He's a Texas healer. That's a Texas healer? Mm -hmm. Australian Shepherd and a Blue Healer. Oh. That's, uh, that's what they're called, Texas healers. You can make them out of three dogs. What else? Uh, border Collie. Border oh, Collie. no, that would be a crazy combo. Yeah. So Border Collie and... Uh, Australian Shepherd or Border Collie Blue Healer. That would be a sheep dog. Two of the three. Yeah, he's he's a cattle. He's a hybrid super. So is he a cattle and sheep dog? He's a he's a hybrid cattle dog, super cattle dog. Does, does he have herding instincts? Oh yeah. Or just he herds. Him. Does he just run him down? He herds me. But do, you know, does he try to box you in? He boxes me in. Yeah. He's been doing it since he was 12 weeks old. I have bearded collies. Oh okay. It's nice to take him to. A couple of places around Denver, we put them in pens with sheep. Yeah. And just see what they did. See and they, they would hurt them. Boy, I have pictures. Unbelievable. They start doing it at eight weeks old. They're, they're, these these dogs are like ten weeks old. Yeah. And they are. What they're doing is so cool. They just menace mm -hmm. the sheep. Right. <clears throat> right. And the sheep go ah. And they, they run this way, and then they go over here, and they go ah. Yeah. They, yep. and they just it's totally a natural instinct. Right. And he does it to me. He he corners me you know i don't know if you got time but my breeder goes to a lot of championship trials and gets ribbons uh -huh. i mean she trains dogs to her right it's a really cool really oh it's so that's neat cool. that's really neat yeah he's i wish he was younger i've been trying to breed him for he's almost 11. oh don't forget it. that's too old <laughs> yeah it's too old you got to get him more like a year and a half mm -hmm. but man those Animals are so well. Border collies. Have you ever seen border collies, Bill? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You're from Texas. No, I'm from here. Are you? Yeah. You must be a part of the the uh, herding club. Mm -mm. No. You should, you should check into it. I will. What's it on Facebook? Yeah. Okay. It's up past uh, Glenwood Springs, I think, is where they do their yearly thing. But they have a lot of meetings. Okay, I'll check it out. Well, you guys have a great day. Yeah. This is a sad thing going on here. Yeah, do you know what's going on right now in Oh yeah. Ukraine? As we're speaking. I mean, there's As we're there's, speaking. there's there's two sides of the coin. I mean, there's <laughs> there's so many stories floating around, who knows what to believe. Um I just think it's a uh, kind of strange that, you know, they bombed the Bobby R memorial out there and then we've got this right here. It's uh it's crazy what's going on. I mean, there's the sad part is no matter what is the truth, is that there's people dying that shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the messed up part. You know, whether who's right and who's wrong, it's all wrong. But um, people shouldn't be innocent. People shouldn't be dying, regardless of what the case may be. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I think, I think it's, it's pretty clear cut who's wrong. Say that again? It's got a fuckload of big ships that cost a lot of money. Yeah. And that money is, should have been the people's money. Right. Well, look at Joe Biden. Look what he's doing. You know, he's, he's got a lot of money? Well, yeah, he's got a lot of money. He's been bribing, um, he's been bribing the, the Ukraine, he's been using U.S. tax dollars to bribe uh, 
you know, natural gas or oil deals with Ukraine saying, well, if you don't give us this much money, we won't give you the tax dollars. And he's paying Isn't that exactly what Trump was uh, uh, impeached for the first time? Probably. See, here's the thing. They make it look like there's two sides of the coin, the red and the blue, but it's all the same thing. Yeah, you got Trump, you got Biden, you got Democrats and Republicans, but when you really think about it, it there's still people at the top controlling everything. So they just make it appear like there's a left and a right, but really, it's all the same thing. There's no Biden, there's no Trump, it's who's above them. It's, who, who, it goes way beyond that. Who is that. above them? Huh. Who's behind all this? I know who's behind all this. Who is? Go look up, uh, look up a YouTube channel called Robin's Hood. Robin Hood? Robin's Hood. Robin's with an S behind it, Hood. The people that control the strings uh -huh. have been found. They're out there. So putting, is this Illuminati kind of stuff? That's all a farce. That's, that's another... That's another thing out there to make people not see the truth. The truth is that there's, it goes so deep. There are people that actually have YouTube channels. They created YouTube. They're playing the Bible out. They're playing, there's people on YouTube that are literally playing parts of the Bible. They're playing characters in the Bible and they're also playing, I just made a video about this just today. They're playing characters in the Bible and they're playing characters in the world. So you've got a guy playing John in the Bible. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just making this up, but you've got a guy playing, a guy on YouTube playing a character in the Bible, but also playing like Putin. And then you've got another guy playing another character in the Bible playing Hitler. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable what's going on. But if you look into it, you want to find out what's really going on? You couldn't have found a better person to, to talk to you about finding out the truth. Rob, I mean, I'm Robin's not crazy. Hood. Robin's Hood. Is that a .com or a .org? It's on YouTube. Just type oh, in oh, Robin's okay. Hood. okay, so it's a YouTube channel. Yep, and if you want to look up my channel, it's called 5280 Skywatch Photography. 5280 what? Skywatch Photography. Skywatch. And, I mean, these are, you'll, you're going to, if you go there to either one of these channels, you're going to see things that you've never seen before. And you're going to probably think I'm crazy. <laughs> but I'm not. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's well, really so how, how do you do your research? Well, I film the sky. I've been filming the sky for 20 years. Oh. Big time. Like, um, sky basically, watch. yeah, full time job filming the sky. Did and, you know uh, uh, Douglas Trumbull? Uh uh. Oh, okay. But I mean, I've been, I've been filming the sky for 20 years with very expensive cameras, with high powered telescopes. Um, and I show people the truth about the sky. It's unbelievable. You, what you're told about the sky is nothing of what it really is. Well, I can't wait. I'm yeah, please look. And, your, and, if you, and if you see it, it's all YouTube. And if you see it and, you, and, and you're catching on to what I, I prove everything I talk about. I prove it. I don't just say something that sounds ridiculous and say it. I prove it. But if you just watch some of my videos, you'll, you'll see the truth. And it's, it is the truth. It's, 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 it's unbelievable what's really going on. But so, you know, they're, they're saying this whole, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but they're throwing out the side of the coin now that there's Nazis in Ukraine. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's, they're saying that the Russians are actually happy. There's some people in Ukraine that are happy that the Russians are there to liberate the place. Then you've got our media saying that the Russians are bad. It's... It's just a big old mind. It's a big mind fuck. They, they want people's minds going everywhere and don't know what to believe. But when you understand that Trump is the same as Biden, it doesn't matter. It's, they're just making it look like there's two sides. When really, it's just one side controlling it all. Look, Trump... You always, so how does this play out then? Do they finish taking over well, Ukraine? Do they move on to uh, other countries? Moldova? Well, I don't know about that. I, I don't know. But what, what we are led to believe is that this spirit is taking over the earth. This Christ spirit, if you want to call it that. And that, like, we, we believe that, that, that Revelation is being played out right now. And that they are. They're playing it out literally. We believe it's already come, that it's already happened spiritually. That, so that the Bible is real spiritually. We don't believe it, that it's that it's for real, literally, but they are literally playing it out. Like if, 
if they weren't making it play out, it wouldn't play out literally, but they are literally playing it out right now. But it has already come to truth. It has already happened spiritually. So then now they're just playing. This is all, this is all something that's been planned for over 150 years, and they're literally going by the book. So who, it's just the way it is. Are there any names that you can drop? I, I can drop some names. Derek Bros and Jonathan Kleck. Derek Bros and Derek John- Bros. Derek Bros is um, B R O S E. B R O E S. B R O E S. You'll find out if you go on Robin Hood. Uh huh. He drops all the names. Oh. Okay. Okay. We, for the things that we talk about on our channels, we should be killed. We stick our necks out on the line, <laughs> but we believe the reason why we haven't is because we haven't taken a. a an oath to truth. We haven't sworn, oh, I'm not going to say anything because we're not from the inside. We're from the outside. Learning what we learn, we believe from God. Like God, We believe that God is showing us, leading us down this path of truth. And that's the way it is. Yeah, I, that's the only explanation I have for it is that God has led us with discernment to where we're at today. And there are a very... This many people, a handful of people that actually know what I'm, what we're talking about, and it's very, it's very hard to see. We're gonna check it out. Please we, do. We need to take our walk. Please do. You guys have a great day. Thanks for listening. All right. You too. All right. I'm gonna go push. Come here, Taro. <laughs> you guys hear that? Oh, this is definitely getting uploaded. All right, so I'm gonna play this for you guys. This is a hi, buddy. Here we go. On September 29, 1941, in Kiev, Ukraine, USSR, German Nazi units rounded up the Jews and murdered them in the ravine called Babi Yar. In two days, 33,771 men, women, and children were Bubba, come here. The Babi Yar carnage continued throughout the next two years of German occupation, the final death count exceeding 200,000 Jews, Ukrainians, and other ethnic groups. The message of Bobby R. Park is a message not alone of Jewish rights, but of human rights. The tragedy that befell Jews, Ukrainians, and others at Bobby R. teaches us a universal principle. When one group of people is harmed, and others remain silent and indifferent, all humankind suffers. This Bobby R. is a reminder of that other Bobby R. That was a place of cruelty and death. This is a place for quiet contemplation, to celebrate life aspiring to the best that is within the human spirit, a place to pray for an end to all inhuman acts in our time. Yeah, well, they're not, they're not abiding by that right now, are they? All right, well, I want to hear the reactions to what I just told these people because um, <laughs> that, that, come on, turn this way. That is uh, how it is. Um, in a nutshell, that's how it is. If I'm wrong, someone correct me like Robin. That's the only person that can correct me on what I w- I just said is that I will take any consideration in is Robin. If, if I'm saying something wrong, Robin, please, and you feel like I'm saying something wrong, please correct me. Or let me know what you think about what I said. Anybody else? Nobody's really... Not too many people, maybe, maybe, I'd say maybe two or three people that I am aware of actually understand what the fuck Robin is talking about. So unless you're one of those people, I don't give a damn what you got to say. Unless I know that you know, like Libby, I, I Libby Seedman or however you say your name. Sorry, sorry if I say it wrong. Liddy, Libby, whatever. That person understands. I, that's a person that that started watching Robin because of me. I know this for a fact. And understands what the fuck Robin's talking about. That is one of... That is one person that I can name that actually fucking gets it. Um, I don't know if I can name... Maybe Austin. I don't know. I don't know if Austin understands it. Austin, do you get it? I think maybe you do, but then again, maybe you don't. It's okay if you don't. You're, it, you are allowed to believe and think anything you want. I'm not going to hate you or dislike you because you don't believe what I believe. That would be fucking wrong. 
you can believe or think anything you want. Those two people right there, that couple, they are lucky to run into me and hear what I have to say. And they're actually on their phones right now looking up the channels. Come on, Terrell. Let's go. They're looking it up. Why would somebody, why would, why would somebody that speaks a, somewhat logically like me be spitting out some garbage like that? Why would I even waste my time? Exactly. I don't waste time. I, I try to, I try to put it out there how it is. I'm not bullshitting. Why would I waste my own time? Why would I waste my own breath? Just think about that. Why would I waste my own time, my own breath, other people's time? Why would I? And if you have common fucking sense, let's go. If you have common sense, you will be able to realize that why would this guy, John, who seems somewhat logical, yeah, he's crazy, but but he's pretty logical. Why would he waste his time or my time telling me this shit. Why would Robin Henry Tease have over 3,000, almost 4,000 videos over 30 minutes long? Why would Robin do that? I mean, there's only 10 people that believe him. That's been my whole reasoning this entire time. Why would Robin lie and make all these videos to deceive 10 people? <laughs> it just doesn't even make it doesn't make any sense whatsoever so <laughs> I hope I got through to those people I, I think I did I'm like Trump, Biden they're the same thing dude like what the fuck are you thinking there is no left and right there's just, that's just the, that's just the illusion. Come on, Tom. <clears throat> uh, let's go. Good boy. We're going to go down here, walk the narrow, narrow path. And uh, I'm going to end this video. But uh, I'll let you guys know if I get a comment from those people like, hey, thanks for telling us that. That lady, the look on her face was straight shock. She was like, huh? Wait, what? Joe Biden and Donald Trump are the same thing? Yes, they are. It's an illusion. Snap out of it. The sooner you snap out of that shit, the better off you'll be. It's just like Derek Bro said. Pick a, don't pick a side. Do not pick a side. Picking the right or the left is picking a side. Picking the Nazi side or the not Nazi side or just the Russian side or whatever. You're picking a side. Just stand back, observe, and let the fucking ships fall where they're going to fall. Because there's nothing you can do about it. Just let it go. Don't get involved in this shit. Now, of course, yeah, I involve myself by saying, hey, I feel bad for these people. This shit's fucked up. There's nothing I can do about it. Not a damn thing I can do about it. But I can feel sorry for people. If you're a decent human being, you will feel sorry for people. And then there's people you shouldn't feel sorry for. Let's go. Come on. Let's walk that path. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Did my dog change color? Are you a color changing dog? <coughs> this is definitely getting uploaded. All right, Bob. Come on. Come on, Boop. Come on, Mr. Booby. Let's go. I'm getting cold. Let's go. Man, I got some layers on and I'm still getting cold. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. He's a good boy. Let's go. 
And that is the truth. I, I firmly believe that the reason why I haven't been whacked, why Robin hasn't been whacked, is because we haven't taken an oath. We have learned these things on our own. God shows us the way. That's how it is. That's the only explanation I've got. I can't, I can't come up with any other explanation. That's just the way it fucking is. <clears throat> come on, boo. So thanks for watching. Shit is the way it is, and that's all there is to it. I, I, I show things and explain things the way I see it. And if you don't like it, don't fucking watch. Period, point blank. Until next time. Is this thing going to stop?